Hey everyone, this is Pete, and I've got a short video today just illustrating a question that was recently brought to my attention, and that is regarding getting parameters into the I properties. So, I, really simple example, but if I say I have a bar here with a width, height, and a length, what I'd like to do is utilize that inside of my description. So I come up here to I properties, and I come up to the project area and what I want is I want to be able to come up here and put in bar by and then the trick is you typically have to type in the name of your parameters like so so I'll just kind of key this in and I guess bar by that would be kind of silly so I'll just get rid of this one X there you go. So I hit uh, enter there and a whole lot of nothing. So the reason why that doesn't work is because you actually have to have the properties here. So you have to transfer the parameters into your custom I properties. So an easy way to do that is in the parameter table to come up here, click on the F sub X, and then we just say we want to export these. So what this does is this allows us to derive them into other parts or link them really easily, but it also pushes them into the custom I properties. So now if I come up here, I look at custom, now those are there. And if I come back here, now you can see that I've got those set up inside that area. And that should update. So as I make changes, so I'll make this a six inch wide and 24 inch long bar something like that <clears throat> we should be able to go up to the I properties and that will update because it's grabbing that and exporting it to the custom I properties so just a quick hitter today hopefully that helps you understand how to get some of those parameters into your I properties if you have any questions or comments let me know and have a blessed day